Hi everyone, to all of you who have asked me over the last few days, yes, I have a new T. Rose story to share with you. And yes, it features old characters from the T. Rose like Fiona and Nick, as well as some new ones. And yes, this is only the beginning. I am loving writing about this time and these characters again. I'm loving my new project and I'm hoping to do many more stories in the months to come. But I think I should actually call this our new project, not my new project, because you, my readers, are the ones who inspired it. It was your wonderful emails and posts and comments that encouraged me to revisit the world of the Rose Books again. And I don't know how to thank you all for that. Um, all I can do is write stories that I hope will continue to speak to you in the same way that the Rose Books do. So here's my big news. On October 3, I'm publishing this, Molly's Letter. It's the first in a series of new stories about the characters from the Rose Books. Now these are not necessarily long stories. Molly's Letter is about 120 pages. Um, it's actually a novella, which is longer than a short story, but not as long as a novel. Um, each one will be as long as it needs to be to tell the story that it's going to tell. I'm calling these stories rose petals, um, beautiful individual elements that each tell their own story, but that contribute to the big bouquet that is the Rose Saga. So a little bit about Molly's letter. This story is set within the tea rose between parts two and three of that book. Fiona and Nick are together in New York. They're starting to see some success with their businesses and they've cobbled together this lovely and loving and also slightly unconventional family around them. Fiona's uncle Michael, as you may remember, has had a very hard time recovering from the death of his wife, Molly. But there's a woman who everyone knows is perfect for Michael um, as, as a second chance at love, and that's Mary Monroe. The problem is Michael doesn't see this because he's too mired in grief. So Fiona and Nick and their whole makeshift family, and even Molly herself, conspire to get Michael and Mary together, but it might be too little too late. I can't even tell you all how much I loved writing this story. I love spending time with these characters again, and it gets at a question I've always had, which is, can we find love again after we've lost the great love of our life? I know for sure that Molly's letter contains a piece of my heart, just like all the Rose books do, and I cannot wait to share it with you.